Alrighty, so they have buffed both of the brand new characters from the Attack on Titan collab. Unfortunately, they didn't seem to go over it too in-depth in the actual JP patch notes or anything, but uh, luckily a person on Reddit, Shinziwa, I assume that's how you say that, is um, gracious enough to have already posted uh, what they have changed here. So honestly, not 100% sure if this is like absolutely accurate or not. I'm kind of just taking this at face value. So if there's anything um, not correct here or anything, definitely let me know. But um, yeah, they have changed obviously the brand new two or the brand the two brand newest characters. I don't know how to say that correctly. Um, base that increase for Aaron has just went. Um, they they just increased his crit chance by 30%. So now he has a 110 crit chance that's kind of nice 30 percent is pretty significant altogether so i mean hopefully that will equal more damage overall um holy relic his holy relic uh previously only applied to humans uh, my i didn't realize my camera's in the way there but you can see when human allies uh attack enemies with a single target skill ignores 30 percent of critical resistance and now it is only or it is actually going to um, apply to both human and giant allies. So that's really nice. Honestly, I think that was kind of needed. I thought it was kind of weird that they made his uh, Holy Relic literally just specific to the human team, whereas his passive worked for both. Um, so that's really nice, honestly. And it does help support my theory that uh, Blue Giant Dian is going to be the next... Uh, LR character maybe that's probably a stretch but I made a, a whole video on that yesterday if you're interested you can go check that out but um, yeah so literally the same passive but now it just applies to both humans and giants so that's really cool um, on his ultimate they have increased it by a very significant margin so it used to be applies buffs that increase critical chance by 100% and inflict spike damage uh, to all enemies by 340% so I mean nothing like there's nothing really like changed there but the value has gone up by 210% so the ultimate at 6-6 six, six is going to hit way harder now so I assume that it's a respective update and the, the lower tiers are also going to get buffs as well uh, and it will you know progressively go up. I don't know if the 1-6 is going to stay the same and you'll just get more percent per copy pulled or if they're just all together raising the bar up by a decent little margin. But uh, honestly, that's kind of nice. Uh, I have seen gameplay and it was kind of weird seeing this brand new character who has an AoE ultimate, who's a collab and everything like that and people are pulling him 6-6 six, six and using his ult and it's not killing <laughs> like several i mean like I've, I've definitely seen it not kill at least one character on the field but um, I, I haven't been watching that much gameplay so i'm sure there are some uh, some very interesting <laughs> takes of him not killing uh but uh, yeah i thought that was kind of weird but hopefully this will help uh, adjust that maybe um Levi, on the other hand, uh, didn't get as crazy of buffs. He did get a little bit of an increase on his ultimate as well, but it's only a 75% increase, which, I mean, every little bit helps, of course. But uh, the main thing here is that his Holy Relic used to have tens total stacks that you got uh, at 10% per stack. So it was for every debuff applied to enemies, increased critical chance by 10% up to, or yeah, up to 10 times. Now it is going to be 15% up to seven times. So it'll be a little bit easier to max that out and you'll get more per stack. So uh, altogether, I mean, not a crazy thing, but at the same time, it'll be easier to max it out, which means that you should be able to get him to maybe fuller potential a little bit faster. So hopefully that'll help things as well. I think uh, out of the two characters, I, I really think that they're both pretty interesting. I've seen Levi do some, some pretty cool stuff. And on the other side, I do really like Aaron's moves. Um, so we'll just kind of have to see. I really like Aaron's kit overall with the whole giant thing, but uh, we'll definitely have to see how that sort of pans out. Hopefully all of this stuff comes to the uh, the update on global whenever they just drop in general, and we won't have to have a hot fix for them. I assume that's the way that it's going to go. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I know that people have been kind of clowning on these two characters since they have come out, and uh, hopefully this will adjust a couple of things. I don't think it's going to be like game breaking or anything like that these aren't like insane sort of buffs or anything like that but uh yeah i uh i would think that this should hopefully bring them up a little bit in value and uh, yeah so i know a lot of people aren't really that excited about the characters but i am still summoning on uh monday night into tuesday morning for live summons so if you are around or anything like that feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out and uh, feel free to stop by if you are, you know, around whatever the, the update drops. So uh, that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you later.